The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. That love I can't let go I'm feeling higher than the most high All eyes on us when we roll I'm your queen, you my hero Where my west side girls at? Where y'all? Where my east side riders at? Where they at? Where my south side gets us at? Where y'all? Screaming Bossy at the Ray Dimson, y'all out here In Hollywood at the Man Chinese Theater They call it TCL, something like that Whatever, y'all we got some gangsters. <laughs> the movie is called Gangster. Y'all check yeah, it out. Yeah, I'm yeah. from Oakland. I'm from Oakland. I'm trying to not act too big. Okay, right quick, we're going to go down the line, right? Let me know where you are. What's your name? Yeah, what are you? You the dollar shop girl. Yeah, the dollar shop girl, Nikki. She the one hiding all the drugs. So that works. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and I let the director know I just act too, so I need a part in the next episode. Yes, yes. Definitely. Right, I'm sorry, y'all. Who are you? Bernard Arrington, Captain Black. Okay, Captain Black. What are you, who are you, queen? I am Gina Paris, one of the co-producers. Hey, see, Gina gonna have me up in there. What's your name, pretty girl? She got, hold on. She got the most claps because of her little shorts. Go <laughs> ahead, what's your name, queen? Hi, my name's Victoria Cerrone, and I play Detective Frost. Hey, and what's your name, sexy chocolate? <laughs> yeah, Raymond Garago, I play Marcus, I'm the bad guy. All right now, Vanilla, tell us, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Kennedy Hall, and I play Karen Jones. That's right, Karen. Hey, 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 we got one more. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Christopher Higgins, I play John John. I'm a man right there. Gangsters, coming this fall. I'm Michelle Nick, my name is Raymond Clare. I'm Michelle Nick, my name Screaming Bossy in the building, a.k.a. Carlene, a.k.a. Global Street Wave and Bossy's boobies. I got a man sat next to me on my right and my left, so y'all know I like playing with myself. Okay, my bad, y'all. Global Street Wave in the building. I caught myself being a little more calmer and relaxed this show. I got a brother out here, y'all. Now, I've been having, you know, promoting all this stuff on Facebook with this video promo or uh, uh, advertisement and promoting yourself and all that. And he actually paid to uh, come out here. To sit on my time and I get the time. No, I'm just playing. This brother, Damo Gotti, y'all. Let the people know what's up. Give me my phone because I know I got you going live for me. Damo Gotti, let the people know who you are, baby. This brother's out here from Ohio, y'all. You know. He uh, basically invested into himself, gave me $1,000 to play a video of his. Y'all going to see in a little bit, right? But uh, he paid another $2,000 and came out here to Cali to visit us. So you definitely live in the building. You know. You feel me? And I don't yeah. take no check under cash. Think, right? <laughs> so let the people know, baby. Right now, up top, we just starting the show. I ain't finna do all this talking, running my mouth. Sure. I can get my announcements later. While I'm over here playing on this phone and this live, let these people know, Damu, who you are, what, tra what track and video you're going to be, you know what I'm saying, promoting today and all that good stuff. And we're going to get to that in a minute. I'm Damu Gotti, man. I'm from Fleet, Ohio. You know, I'm, I'm a rocker, you know, and we, we get everything from the mud. I'm just here representing my album, Try Rap No Bands of Volume 2. I represent my city and my family. And um, today I'm going to be promoting my um, my single for the homeless man fishing ice water. And uh, Do we got ice water in the building? No, ice water in the building, but he always with me. You know, okay, no, because I know he sent me a friend request. So, yeah, he I couldn't, seen he couldn't make it, you know, but <laughs> shout out to Ice Water Entertainment. Who, who came with you out here? Uh, it's, I brought my brother out here with me. You know, okay. Kenny, yeah. Well, give your brother a shout out for coming on the airplane. Uh, for sure, I don't know where for Global Street Way. My brother, he right there, man. Kenny, you know. What's up, brother? Yeah, I ain't got my glasses on and shit. I came in late. I ain't. I just <laughs> said, Dom, we'll get your ass up. Yeah. Here. 
But you take, you know, they say chance to make champions, man. You know, and I don't right. eat Wheaties, you know what I'm saying? So I eat champ. I eat chances, right. so. And I don't eat Wheaties neither. You feel me? I out? like strong Snickers bars. Mm -hmm. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you opened up the door now. <laughs> so, Damu, you from, oh, what part of Ohio are you from? I'm from Toledo. Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, Toledo, Ohio. And I've been knowing you on my Facebook for a minute. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is a Facebook friend, y'all. And um, what I love about this brother, he's a Leo like me, very independent. He came out here. You been out here with Master P before, you said? Yeah, yeah, I came out here. And he came out here. I didn't have to pick him up from no airport. I didn't have to help him get rental cars. I didn't even have to worry about where he stayed. I had to actually call him today at 11 o'clock to see what was up with him. So I appreciate that. He did not make me, his mother, and responsible for him because I'm not. You in Toledo, Ohio. I'm out in South Central California, Negro. I'm not responsible for you. And I appreciate you for being a man, taking care of your business, and getting here and beating me to the studio. You feel me? 100. Hey, I got a song to say that. So definitely... <laughs> Now, for the homies, who produced that track? Um, <clears throat> my dude, Teddy Loud, produced that track. Okay. Shout out to my dude, Teddy Loud, man. I have to do it out audio. Okay. You know. Um, and you have Ice Water. That's the brother I sing, yeah. little sexy chocolate brother singing yeah, yeah, on it. Because yeah, yeah. I got the video. I'm yeah. not going to play the track. I'm actually playing the video. Because okay, I like yeah. videos and all that good stuff. That's my brother, Ice Water, John Ford, man. Ice Water, man. Uh, he's a great singer, you know. Um, but like I say, we just we just really just basically trying to build ourselves up, man. We, That's do, right. we do it from the heart, you know. That's right. Ain't, ain't, none of, ain't none about us watered down, you know what I'm saying? So everything that we do is basically, man, from the heart. And I feel like, man, either you with it or you ain't. You know That's what I'm right. talking about? Right. So Definitely. I'm going to keep pushing. Like I said, I brought myself to California to meet this woman, you know, That's to promote this right here. Because, you know, this is all I got and all I do. This shit saved me from going to prison. That's I mean, right. a statistic, you know what I'm saying? That's so, right. I'm going to keep doing this. And by the grace of God, you know, something happened about this, you know what I'm talking about? That's Especially, right. That's Here, the, Brian, that's you to be the cameraman. Sure. Well, I definitely appreciate you, man. You travel. It's called Trap Rap No Benzo, mm -hmm. Volume 2. So yeah. what's, what's the Trap Rap? You ain't got no Benz and you, you trapping. Know, okay, or what you talking okay. about? It's just, it's just basically meaning that Trap Rap No Benzo meaning that it's just real rap with no cut. You know, okay. Benzo is cut. You know, oh, okay. ain't, ain't ain't no ain't, ain't no artificial shit. In, you know Benzo is that some some street yeah, slang for the slang? Yeah, that's what you used to cut the dough with. Yeah, know? exactly. Well, I didn't cut the dough, but I just sold the damn yeah, rock, you know so saying? I ain't know about the Benzo you word and shit. You know? I just know about flipping. Yeah, right. Playing, well, benzo in there to stretch the dough. Okay, that's a new word I learned. Yeah, okay, so, shit, Benzo to stretch it. Yeah, I ain't never knew that. That's a that's an Ohio word. The Benzo. That's a that's a South word. No, I'm saying like is that from the South or is a certain side of the I got my own slang, my own way. You know, I'm I'm born in Gary, Indiana, so you know I'm a country. Boy, you know what I'm oh saying? no, I see that. Make sure you're talking up to the mic yeah, like it's but, my titty. But yeah, uh, <laughs> hey, I like him. Leo. Oh, I'm gonna let him touch the booty today. Hold on. After my next guest, we're gonna do some stuff in the private. If you got some more change, I do something strange. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? Because I got, um, I didn't even introduce my show, y'all. So I'm gonna take a pause right quick on this trap nigga with this Benzo <laughs> shit. I need a Benz. Fuck what you talking about? Mama. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Uh, uh, uh oh, the microphone wanted some bossy titties too, <laughs> boobies. Uh, just to introduce y'all to show y'all and slow it down, you know. I was moving a little late because uh, they kept irritating me. All these damn guests that beat me here, calling my damn phone. I'm just lying and blaming it on them. I was trying to get my face beat. Y'all see my face? <laughs> I actually got professional makeup done, y'all. So Bossy was trying to get pretty, and I told him to come by at one. And I held myself up, but we still made it happen and came That's in sure. here. So I got to yeah. definitely give a salute to Makeup by Luar. It's Raul spelled backwards. It's Makeup by L-U-R-A. No, L U A R. L U A R. Yeah. Okay. Luar. Makeup by Luar. It's Raul backwards. And I definitely thank him for coming through the house and blessing my face because, you know, I've been doing a lot of red carpets lately. You know, Morris Media, me and uh, Porter's going to have to get together. We got to do some red carpets together representing the Morris Media, too, not just the Global Streetway. Right. Because we've been going hard. Salute to uh, Untouchable Magazines, man, with these different events. My voice, so, y'all, body had broke down. I was in the streets just going too hard. You know, I didn't show y'all me answer, uh, asking Mayweather questions and mm -hmm. McGregor, but we really been out here pushing for the movement. So in the midst of that, I was at a redemption event, and uh, that's Ray J. He had a vi he had a visual album screening in yeah. Hollywood, okay. and I met some lovely people. I'm trying to get in some of his movies. You know what right. I'm saying? I ain't just trying to be a host and a rapper. I want to act too. I got actors credit. You there know you what I'm saying? So maybe this brother can add to it. We got a brother up in here. A brother I'm trying to say Freddie. <laughs> a brother up in here yeah. named Freddie Bass Knight. Okay. So he has a show called The Gangsta TV Show. Mm -hmm. Gangsters, all this trap shit. We got the trap shit in the house. You know what I'm saying? Benzo letting y'all know the slangery about the yeah. dope. Dylan, cut the dope. Benzo, <laughs> cut the dope. Right. Give me the right. rocks. I'm going to flip it. Oh, my God. I'm trying to <laughs> I had a dream the other night, too, y'all. I was back on the block trying to make some money. <laughs> all this damn gangsta shit in the studio today. That's why. So the Gangsta TV, y'all, we're going to let them talk about what it was in the beginning y'all saw on the show. 
uh, basically we were out there at the Redemption event and Stay was just so much positive energy you know it was about him showing his screening but they also do this indie film show some other indie films Yeah. and I love the whole cast they were just positive vibes from the sisters to the brothers so we have some of the cast members in here today cool. and I just wanted to mention that to you guys I said all that to say we got the gangsters in the house today is a gangster TV show y'all been seeing me bang for the sake of my mama and telling y'all where my mama from and now I'm just showing y'all how real gangsters get down no, I'm mm-hmm. just Y'all. <laughs> y'all go to YouTube and check out Gangsters TV. Gangsters G A N G S T E R S TV show. When you really from the hood, you can spell that shit right. Gangsters TV. 323 293 3375. Right? Yeah, I ain't said it in a minute. 323 293 3375. I didn't give y'all no topic for the day. I do got a word. Brian got his words from the wise. And we're going to. Play your video first, and we're gonna get into me and Brian, and then get into these other guests, right? Okay. But I did have a word for the day while I was talking. Mm-hmm. You know, I be trying to open up my show different ways, but I'm bossy. I do what I want. What I wanted to say basically was that's my word, right? So this is my word. I'm not gonna give you a word to go look up. I'm gonna give you a word. So when I get through, you can be like, that's my word. Mm. Don't let no one slow you down. That's it. That's right. my word. Okay. Don't let nobody slow you down. You feel me? Your gifts, your talents come from the higher power. Okay, I always tell y'all, whether you're praying to Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Krishna, or whoever. I don't care what your religion is. As long as you're praying to somebody up there in the sky, energy, white man, blue man, black man, with dreads, no dreads, blonde hair, blue eyes, don't matter. Pray to somebody, right? But the point is, the higher power is in control of your life, y'all. Y'all know I got to say a bunch of foolery with it, but the higher power is in control, not the person next to you. Ryan does not control Global Street Wave, mm-hmm. nor do Damu Gotti, and I don't control what Damu got. Mm-hmm. Brian is supreme in the Entertainment, Damu, what's the name of your thing? Out the Zoo Audio. Uh, who? Out the Zoo Audio. Out the Zoo Audio. That's a vision God gave you. You feel mm-hmm. me? So I don't give a darn what woman you meet, what child you got, your mama, daddy, whoever don't believe in what you're doing. You just keep pushing because God gave you the dream. And your mama, you know what I'm saying? She was the wound, the daddy was the sperm, they got you here. Mm-hmm. But before you came here on this earth, it was already something for you to do. So I'm saying that to say, man, don't let nobody slow you down. I've right. experienced people, you know, people will help you and then try to slow you down at the same time. Wow. Yeah. Whether it's friends or relationships. So I, enough of that word. That was, that was, what we're going to do is, no, nah, it's real gangster. I can say a whole bunch right. more, right. but I don't want to shoot shots yeah. and be subliminal, but sure. I'm going to speak from experience. Mm-hmm. You can't stop me and you can't slow me down. But one other thing I want to do, tell y'all, when people try to slow y'all down and y'all do get those little personal attacks from people, just wait and watch and see how more doors open. Soon somebody think they in control of what you're Doing, and they trying to shut doors they think on your life God gonna come up with like 20 more just to show you and them boo I'm the one in control <laughs> you know what I'm saying okay. so all y'all that be like bossy be talking crazy to me guess what those who know me they see how I talk to the universe I be cussing at it banging on it and it answers even quicker so mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep banging on for mine and y'all bang for y'all hmm. so we're gonna bang this video okay so we're gonna go to the video again just give us a nice introduction and then I'm going to get your ass out of my seat unless you got some more money. Because I got a words from the wise. No, I'm just playing. I just want to make people laugh and shit. You know, I got too serious and shit. I had to make them laugh. You know what I'm saying? No Can't be too serious for the world. They want foolery yeah, and shit. That's why, yeah, I'll be sure. I might give them some ass today. <laughs> I got uh, my skirt and dress on. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on how y'all act. Can I get a call? Somebody tell me they want to see Bossy's booty. 323-293-3375 for the gangsters to get on here. And you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? So introduce this hat is like I got nasty Leo next to me. Yeah. Introduce this video and then you can go jack off in the back and give me some fat power. It's called For the Homies, man. For Future I Job and Ice Water 4, man. You know. Check it out. That's right. I'm feeling like the boss slave pussy nigga, you can have it. Or I come through anybody hood shooting. This shit got me feeling like young Mo with the camera. Yeah. I just wanna talk to him. I traded all to get my niggas back. Yeah. Them jail calls, that's what made me rap. Yeah. The belly of the beast. Why you in there surviving? Bitches dying on the cheek. Young nigga, but my bread long. Moving work off the cell phone. Fuck the fans, hope they free bone. Four pills and he's still gone. Taught a nigga how to whip his own. Every call make a nigga strong. Balling on him like I'm Carl Malone. After tone with the bins out. Drop moving like a sick goat. Chasing planes out of rent out. Ducking 12 cause I'm riding dirty. Short body with a long 30. Move the birdies by the morning morning. Make it rain like Tony Tony. In the pot with the
the rigor, Tony. Diamond to keep a nigga hypothermic. I don't trust her if she not my mother. Snake bitch can be an undercover. Fuck around and have to kill her brother. Ice water, go and get her mother. Put the gravy on my stuffed onions. Stacking money like I work a chase. I can see it in her head and face. Running hard in the paper chase. Get my niggas back. Huh. Until Jill Carl says, What made me rap? Yeah. The belly of the beast. While you in there surviving, bitches dying on the cheap. Remember days we had to load up. Black masks with the black gloves. Niggas should have never crossed us. Capping out at your front door. Show the strap for the chopper. Let us niggas get chopped up. And hey, you know I'm about to boss up. Take my wheels and my losses. Diamonds on a nigga glossy. Fuck with me, you get a coffin. I ain't playing, I'ma off you. Free my niggas in lock up. And I'm about to fuck the pot up. And I'm about to fuck the check up. Young nigga keep flexing. Money long as Texas. I can see the fame, cause it looked me in my face. Every day I'm riding with the 30, I don't play. Niggas gotta eat, go get it by any means. Married to the money, you better not get in between. Yeah, I tried it all to get my niggas back. Them jail calls says, what made me rap? Yeah. The belly of the beast. While you in there surviving, bitches dying on the cheap. Oh shit, okay, we back. I was talking about botched y'all and all the <laughs> fake titties. I'll go back to it. Basically, I was talking about the botch, you know. Everybody got fake titties and fake ass nowadays. And I just told the boss he got push up bras. Big titties and the big bras. I ain't gonna get no ass for y'all. I lost some weight while I was. You know what I'm saying? But you feel me? I'm not gonna get no fake ass for y'all. Y'all better enjoy that shit. Uh, I'm gonna talk dirty for y'all, was my point, because I'm gonna still give y'all some nastiness. And that's, that's all I was saying. And I was saying that I don't want my man, or you know, whoever I got, getting some at the time. I go get the big titties, right? And then three, four, five, ten years later, we chilling and shit. Freddie over there chilling. We done made movies now. We about to make love. And he like, damn, boss, your titties was not like that 10 years ago. <laughs> One bigger than the other and shit. I be seeing some cold shit on botch. Uh. All right, we back to our guest, y'all. Hey, baby, bossy came up. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, gangster TV show. Was you a gangster in your lifetime? <laughs> you look like a square. <laughs> Hey, y'all, we got Freddie Bass Knight. Bass Knight, Bass Knight, how you ba say that? Bass Knight. Okay, I was yeah. right. Should I be messing up names? You got good energy. I said your name right or something. <laughs> Bass Knight, he just giggling, y'all. He gonna give me some more money for all them damn labs. And what's this other queen <laughs> over here that was on my video when I was talking to y'all? My name is Gina Paris. You like penis, Gina? You suck penis? You suck your man dicky dicky? <laughs> that's like, that's dicky dicky. This titty titty for you. Dicky dicky for you. Okay. Don't suck man dicky, come look for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, she got the point. Talk to the microphone, man. I am no, Gina. No, you got to hold it and shit. Okay. She like, okay, I'll touch the dick. <laughs> she made the massages, head to head on okay. and shit. Okay, you ain't got to touch on the dick, just talk to the dick. Okay, I'll talk to it. I'll yeah, he wants you to talk to it first. My name is Gina Paris. Okay. I'm one of the co-producers for and, Gangsters. And I remember that for yeah. gangsters so <laughs> what inspired and just so y'all know y'all this is the what are you for the gangsters i'll let you say who you are for the gangsters uh well freddie bass knight the okay. uh, co-creator director actor uh and executive producer okay and just so y'all know real quick i know i always do this on every show i don't want my guests looking uncomfortable as long as i might pick up your mic you can set up and shit with good okay, posture yeah, don't be looking like you don't you know, like, hunch back because of uh, you. yeah hunchback Notre Dame uh, over here this, this is usc trojans where your trojans at before you get that i'm just saying so now let the people know gangsters tv show what inspired that title because i'm from the streets you know what I'm saying? I need to be in the second series because I will live that shit out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I come from the uh, Wango Day, you know. But real shit, I come from the gangsters. My grandma used to bang while I was in her stomach. I ain't playing. So I need a real role. 
I could like, so these gangsters, y'all look like squares. You talk like you from <laughs> Africa and shit. Yeah. What was gangsters TV? Come on, y'all didn't even find me first. Where they came from? Um, well, me and my uh, <laughs> hope your wife ain't watching. <laughs> my uh, my writer and I um, just sat down and I was trying to think of the, a title for the show. Eventually, for some okay. reason, some it just it, it popped too popped uh, in my head, um, and then we just started developing uh, the story and the characters okay. and the different scenes and things of that nature. So. And so what was the motivation though behind this gangsters? Could tell us I, about I, it, right quick. What, okay. I'm gonna get to the little uh, teaser, sizzle, whatever I didn't got off you too. <laughs> but the point is, I know y'all. You know, we grew up in the hood. And it's just being real. We in the hood be selling to our own people, killing them. You didn't kill your own people. You were selling to the rich people, right? Yeah. So in the in the Which show, is what I'm trying to do now. Yeah. So in the show, the, <laughs> the 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 main character, Davon Jones, okay. uh, played by Javon Luna. Okay. Uh, so he's a Shout he's, out to he, Javon. he is a black mm -hmm. businessman who owns a chain of flower shops, but okay. he also is a drug kingpin who supplies uh, cocaine to the top one percent in Los Angeles. Wow. Um, but to to be more specific, um, and it's not just him supplying cocaine to. You know, uh, rich white folks. I okay. mean, there's rich black folks out there as well. Exactly. But he uses that 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 money, that revenue, to build up the black communities. Wow, something that these and, Negroes don't do. And, and and I don't want people to think that you know, gangsters is just about you know the drugs or this gangster type life. I mean, police officers can be gangsters. Yeah, they are right? gangsters. They right? can't be in a KKK yeah. in a uniform. They're the different. Poli type. They're the real gangsters. Real. They're can gangsters, and I can't be. They are. Just, going. So they're doing the same stuff that. Maybe the low level people are doing, mm -hmm. but they just go about it in a different way, and that's why I wanted We're making to the real create money. the show to show that it's not just those type of individuals that's doing that stuff. There's other people who have posi uh, positions, whether it's in the government, police departments, whatever the case is within this country. You guys are doing the same exact stuff. You just go about it differently. Go right, about it differently. Right. But then you're gonna subject us <coughs> to all these laws and stuff like Excuse that. Me. But when you get caught, you're not right. To, you don't go to jail. Okay. They're the biggest robbers, yeah. rapers, thieves, and murderers, and y'all. Statue of Liberty ain't even a damn white woman. That's black, and y'all stole that shit. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I like dropping jewels. See, I'm talking about the Gazer TV show. I'm gonna talk about titties. I told y'all the knowledge. This is informational sex. All right. Drop jewels. Take your ass back to Africa and Egypt. So, with that accent, Queen, where are you from? I'm from the Caribbean, Trinidad oh, really? and Tobago, Trini girl. Okay, yeah. awesome. And where are you from, my brother? Where were you born? I am from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, and do we have some other members, cast members that came here today or just mainly you two represent right uh, now? Just uh, myself, uh, Gina. We have an, uh, two other actors here as well. Okay, we'll bring them up in a minute. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go to what I picked off of the internet, off of YouTube, the, mm -hmm. uh, something to give them a little taste. I just showed y'all in the beginning, me talking to them, and guess what? You got to meet the cast at the beginning of the show because I asked everybody their name. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And everybody got to do all that, you know, so that was good. So y'all definitely, again, when I have people on here, I wish I could talk to people for 20 hours, and I can't, but y'all got to always go back and go research the people, man. Go look up the shows. It's a lot of people that want to act. This brother, I brought on the show... Because I want to act. I ain't really bring him on here talking about no damn gangsters TV show shit. I'm trying mm -hmm. to get in the next series or on the whole show, the bitch show, the, the real show, the truth show. <laughs> Tell it like it is, third eye show, white man show, black girl show. Ring around a rosy. I don't care if she be coming around the mountain around this motherfucker. <laughs> Put me on the show. <laughs> See, I just saw myself on. You got, me, <laughs> you got some comedy shit for me. Okay. Make me a comedian, damn it. <laughs> so we're going to get to this... Um, Something I didn't take off YouTube. Then we're going to come back to y'all. And okay. I'm going to still have a, a couple of the other actors come up here and just stand behind us and all that good stuff. Okay. And we're going to get back into y'all. So we got the gangsters in the house. Shouts out to all my gangsters, <laughs> my essays, my crips, my bloods. Stop killing each other. Get the shit. Sell it to the higher power. Get the money. Bring it back to the hood. Cause fix it. I'm just playing, y'all. We're about to go to this uh, YouTube, Gangsters TV, y'all. Go subscribe now. Gangsters TV show. Devon might be in jail. He still has power. People are loyal to him. Because Devon's a boss. And that's what bosses do. All my niggas is fellas. All you niggas is telling. So just so to them people. They gonna get you to sell it. They gonna get you to move. Next time, keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. You might live to see another day. Devon Jones? How did his ass get out of jail? Look, okay, I got your ass out in the first place. Whoever snitched on me is gonna wish he never met me. As your lawyer, I really don't need to hear that. And as your sister, I don't want to hear that either. All I care about is getting some solid evidence on Davon Jones. Don't fuck yourself. 
Javier offered us five million to take the deal. It's not worth the risk. Don't make the deal. Javier, my man. Looks like you and I are gonna be doing some business together. Even in jail, if Devon finds don't out- Don't worry about Devon, okay? His ass is in jail. This don't concern him anymore. What don't concern me? Remember what I said. We run this house. Oh, okay. oh, she just letting us know we back and all that good stuff. What's y'all? Welcome back. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back. Go up a street wave in the building, y'all. I got some people to promote. I got some things to announce. So since I realize I'm doing good with Tom, I'm going to talk to them like I'm sipping on some wine. And we're going to continue to be merry up in here for a little bit more. We got the Gangsters TV show running the flow. And we checking in the back door in the front. I don't know. I was just trying to do a freestyle. <laughs> so, anyways, we got two more people, y'all. Y'all just saw that Gangsta's TV show on YouTube. I need everybody right now. It's okay. I don't even trip it. Y'all can jump off my live. You can jump off my live. Go subscribe to that Gangsta's TV show right now on YouTube. We need more subscribers. Also, go subscribe to Morris Media Studios on YouTube and Global Street Wave Radio on TV. How about that? That was three promos in one. <laughs> yay, yay. Okay. So, anyways. Who are these other two lovely people? Captain Jack ain't got a damn boat. <laughs> Sexy Chocolate thinking he's about to go dance on the, uh, singing some shit for New Edition. You trying out for New Edition? Like, oh, I'm just playing. So uh, tell us who you are, baby. I know you're not literally in the microphone, but you know, just just say it out loud. Talk like you. I'm Vernell Arrington. I play Captain Jermaine Black. Vernell Arrington. Vernell? Yes. Ma'am. Captain Jermaine Black. I'm his translator. What's your name over there, New Edition member? <laughs> he my missed name, the movie. My name is Raymond Carago, and I'm playing Marcus. Raymond Carago, and he's playing Marcus. He even had sex with me, and I thought I was a damn foreigner. Where are you from? <laughs> Kenya. Kenya. Oh, shit, that's that real Mandingo. Is it really like a Mandingo? <laughs> Are you really mad? You little. You know, guys like you always have the biggest things. Y'all know y'all came into the, the sex talk show, right? I'm trying to promote you, but I'm going to talk dirty to you, too. Okay. okay. I'm trying to get some PayPal. GSWMGMT at Gmail. When you think about me later, be like, I got a boss. I'm going to give her a little change for doing some strength. So, y'all, this is my lovely co host, Brian, you guys. Up, Brian guys? has a uh, thing where he got Supreme Entertainment. He worked with Tupac back in the days with that old sick ass Death Row records and shit with that dirty ass shit. Knife, motherfucker, about to die in jail now. All the shit he done did wrong to people. Oh, so um. Anyway, <laughs> Brian, he loves me because I'm Lady Pac. They call me that shit first. You know what I'm saying? I just get an introduction to my host because I don't even think I gave him no shine and shit. <laughs> I'm talking about titties and all day. So <laughs> I want to thank my man Brian for being my real ride or die, y'all. Sure. His brother. When I started doing uh, TV, so I started doing not TV. That was public access. When I started doing radio shows at the RMC radio station. Shouts out to Mr. Morris. <laughs> this brother was there when I was actually co-hosting on another lady's show. Then I started my own show. He never missed a show from her show to my show to a show to me doing shows. So I just made him a part of what I do. So we're going to get to your worst and wise in a little bit, okay? So, my ride or die. <laughs> Sexy sure. rise, Brian, Brian, on the show now. <laughs> so he can hold on. I'll be there for you, Brian. Don't trip. So now... Captain Kurt with the big old work. <laughs> Let me see you twerk. Make me twerk, Captain. No, I'm just playing. So Captain, Captain Black, right? Captain Jack? Captain Black. Okay, I said it right with my stupid ass be playing, but I was wrong. Captain, Captain Black. 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 So Captain Black, you just going to be a loud ass kid in the class. I know they're going to be able to somehow hear you. But what was your role in this movie? What did you do, Captain? Well, I played a police captain in charge okay. of the squad. Okay. And trying to keep them in order um, as I'm handling my own issues. Was you a moment. dirty ass police captain? Ah, yes. we wait to see about that. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, fake ass, fake ass. You want no more Willie Lynch ass? Man, you know no was you an dirty. Uncle John or was you a, just a cool nigga, just dirty nigga cop? Was you just a dirty nigga cop or an Uncle Tom cop? I said Uncle John. Oh, sellout ass cop, trying to kiss the white man ass. Definitely not a sellout. Okay, you just like nigga. I'm taking this shit back to hood. My baby mama's the bitches right. is tripping. I got kids, nigga. Fuck y'all. I need that dope, nigga. I ain't gonna say nothing. And sexy chocolate like you about to sing, mama, 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 mama. You Show look good today. What you did, sexy chocolate in the movie, no damn Kenyan ass and you. Got some real African blood. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I play Marcus. I play. Wait. Ooh, I'm turned on. <laughs> Marcus, I'm wet. With a tap on on y'all. I'm the right hand man to uh, Devon, the main character. But okay. what he doesn't know is that I'm trying to take the business for him, from him. Oh, he's you a little sneaky African. You motherfuckers ain't no, no joke. I come up here with a spear, you know. But, with a uh, spear. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So when he's in jail, I'm running the business, making deals without his permission. But I don't need his permission because it's my business. Just saying. Okay. So you a <laughs> sneaky little African, little sneaky little man, dingo. You going to whip his dick out, nigga, and rub like, I'm sorry, nigga. I'm just playing, y'all. So anyways, 
what these people need to know about this gangster TV show right now while we're talking on the show. All this dick selling I'm doing for y'all and shit. They gonna stay tuned in and go watch y'all. And I know we're gonna get around about a billion subscribers between me, you, and Morris Media. Okay, we're gonna get some more subscribers, but back okay. to some serious shit. What is it about this movie that these people need to know? Like, why you did it, uh, whatever the case may be. What do you want to say in the midst of all this laughing and shit? Let I me let you, you get serious. Go on and get serious. Well, the reason I created it is because I wanted to uh, create uh, my own content. Because, you know, you see everybody now, There, a lot of people are doing their own stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the, the first and foremost, I'm an actor, but at the same time, you have to do more, yes. you know, because, you know, technology is changing. Yes. Right. Um, I'm not going to say that it's it's becoming uh, that it's easier. I mean, there is still a level of difficulty as mm -hmm. far as getting into the industry. But I feel like with the, the changes of technology, yes, um, people starting off doing videos on YouTube Come and on they're getting picked mm -hmm. it up, picked up by different studios and right. networks. Yes. And now they have their own show. Yes. So. Like I'm doing here in Mars Media, trying to exactly. sell my boobies. What y'all call boobies? <laughs> trying so to get when, in the movie play. Jada pick so it up. So when I see something. stuff like that, I'm like, okay, I can do that as well. That's right. Cool. I will do that. That's and right. one thing I right. one thing I started well, you doing. You did do was, that gangsters TV exactly. show on YouTube. Okay. Subscribe now. Right. Keep going. And one thing I, 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 I for you. <laughs> one thing I do, I do show. is I I started to get rid of the word trying. There I'm not are. trying to do anything. I am going to do it. That's right. that's right. And I feel like that's the mentality that you have to have in order to be successful in whatever it is that you want to do. Definitely. So yep. I'm definitely excited about it. Key um, word. He said, I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get conscious with y'all. <laughs> right. Did God tell y'all I am that I am that I am? Well, you am that you am that he is and mm -hmm. that he am that he got a ram in the bush and you am. Mm -hmm. Real talk, y'all. Ain't I try and ain't I can't. I learned that at the job back in the days. They were trying to give me the right so I didn't know what it was. And the whole point was to say I am. Exactly. It's the law of attraction. It's speaking into existence, speaking as though it is so. Mm -hmm. Basically, right. finish going. I just so, trying to give him a little knowledge yeah, on it. I am is deep. <laughs> yeah. Just as I am is deep. You know, from religion oh, yeah. to the hieroglyphics. I'm just trying to give it to really, him. Come on. Definitely. You know, I'm talking sex selling. I'm giving him intelligence too. So you thought I was going to uh, say something about some titties? No, that was some knowledge. I was dropping Jews on that one. Okay. <laughs> Go on but uh, I definitely have a lovely cast, uh, yes, good crew do. members. Mandingos um, and they, shit. No, <laughs> captains. I mean, they all worked hard. We, uh, for a month straight, we did uh, table reads, rehearsals. Okay. I had a, uh, an acting coach come and help us out. Um, I made sure I had some of the best uh, cast and crew. Awesome. I worked the scenes out with all of them, and I, I allowed them the opportunity to uh, create their own characters. and. Yes. Um, and so that was really fascinating just yeah. uh, during one of the rehearsals, them just telling me everybody going through each of their own story and their background and really like delving deep into it. And I was just okay. like, I was I was really excited, especially with uh, Raymond uh, playing Marcus. Like when he read his, I was just like, wow. Okay. Like, so it just shows you the level of commitment <coughs> that Excuse actors me. have. Yes. Um, and just artists, period, have the, 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 the energy and the effort and the love they yes. put into it. And and none of them got paid. But they were committed. And I got to get paid for the first one to finish people. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But, they were you, know, you know, when you believe in Selling a project, myself, you know, mm -hmm. you, you tend to, as an artist, you, you'll say, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Because eventually. paying dues. Exactly. You paying your dues. You better not got what y'all look not like that, but that accent. <laughs> just right even to say nothing sexy and nasty. But with your accent, your stature, all that. Like, you could play so many different roles and then to hear your voice. You doing that for free for him. Uh, not free, but, you know. Be being a blessing to each other right. but then somebody see you just on that serious of his and then throw you in some stuff on TV True. and you don't even be dog on a movie you could be on channel 9 just being a commentator standing there cause they like your African voice talking about something in basketball now you gotta figure out what the and you don't even know about no basketball they want you to talk about basketball or something right. you know, I'm just saying I'm just making up something don't if that happened I was just <laughs> prophesizing you owe me so we got around about 30, I got barely 30 more minutes, so I'm going to vibe with y'all a few more minutes. I got some okay. things and people to promote. Now, where can people... Okay, so now, you're not looking for more actors, of course, for another... Are you doing another series? I'm, I'm trying to figure out the damn yeah, question. Yeah, I did, I did talk to uh, the, the actors and some of the uh, crew members about uh, doing a second episode. Okay. So I will be meeting with uh, a writer this week, and her and I are going to sit down and, and start developing uh, the plot for the next episode. Uh, episode and I have met some other actors from going to different events like me you met the host of the actress mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. actress credit in that movie database All right. for an indie film and a court show I need you added to that so I can get some real stuff 
I got you. And, that, and, that's, and that's one thing I do. Uh, we got, I got everybody uh, IMDB credit, which is, you know, See, a that's professional. Good. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I got know, from just low stuff. So that way and you did a free, but, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I got this cold in me trying to get out. I had to get the Mandingo to sweat it for me before he came. <laughs> sweat it out. <laughs> no, but real talk. The, um, the first series. Is this a pilot? Are you trying to shoot this? Or is this just something you just creating and just promoting to put out content like you mentioned? Or are you trying to actually get somebody to see this stuff, to put it on a bigger level? Or like, what's your whole purpose and point of starting this content besides just building it? Is this so someone can take you as a director well, and put somebody um, behind you? No, it's not It's not uh, just about myself. It's about everybody that was involved. Because, I mean, well, no, I mean well, that yeah, part. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. I make that like, part, but finish going. My, you, my, know, you know the vision here. <laughs> my goal is to have this turn into a TV show. It okay. will be. I, okay. I know through advertising and just continuing to do what we're doing. Yes. Um, somebody in the industry will like what we're doing. Yes. And, give, and we'll have and a lot of stuff is about gangsters right now. Not like that, but TV. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's the world. Like you said, right. the gangsterism is not just Negroes in the hood killing each other. Right. It started before then with zoot suits. Yeah. And the uh, and Italians the and, and that's stuff. What, and that's what I want. That's what I want to highlight. Yeah. Right. Because okay. you know, there's I, I feel like people don't want to talk about certain issues. And I'm right here to talk about them with you. You got a platform. You need to talk about them. You need like, to be I'm be trying not to get hung talking about a lot of shit. That's why I keep selling <laughs> sex with the shit. Because if I don't sell the sex with it, then y'all like, oh, bossy, there she go, that black power, there she go, talk of that. Because your dumb ass was just at church all damn Sunday, and you don't know what the shit I was reading. Well, you know, we just can't. You know what I'm saying? No offense to the Christians. I grew up a Christian, <laughs> but church folk, y'all don't know nothing. Y'all stuck on four walls and the doggone basic instructions before leaving earth. Finish I mean, we, just, we can't be afraid. We have to, mm-hmm. like, whatever, whatever thing that you it. are passionate about or whatever you want to talk about in society, whether it's... <laughs> You know, you know, changing something in your own life or other people's lives. We have to, you have to speak out. Yes. We, you know, we can't be silenced. Definitely. So, Queen, what do you, what, did, what were you doing before you met this brother with the gangster TV show? Well, actually, I'm I am. Sorry. No, you not just switching um, real quick. You know, I got around with two, ten more, five minutes or something with y'all. <laughs> I can identify with Freddie because I am an actress first and foremost. Okay. But and I also believe in creating content and putting yourself out there and creating a platform <coughs> for other Excuse people me. and before I met Freddie I did create my own TV show that aired in my country what was the name of it? The Honest Honestest Truth The uh, See? The, uh, okay yes. So um, the, I said again I The it. Honest Honestest Truth The Honest Honestest Honestest Truth. Truth. What's all nastiest? A word that I made up. <laughs> see, see why I repeat it? You can't be acting like what's all nastiest mean right quick? <laughs> What that mean? Honest. Um, it it's actually the honest fucking truth. The honest damn truth. Yes, but it it was actually the opposite of that. You know, so, I, I acted in it, I wrote it, and I produced it. So the honest anestis. No, what is that word? Anestis. What is anestis, that? Anestis. The meaning I tried to put for it is that it is so overly honest and truthful. Okay. There's no doubt. But okay. Okay. It's 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 kind of ironic because when you look at the show, it's is a whole set of drama that okay. clearly were people who are deceitful. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. so I, I have been in entertainment for like 12 years in my country. Awesome. You know, I'm heavily into it and when I, it, you know, things things are so crazy because when I met Freddie, you know, um, at school, okay. studying acting and then my friend is like, oh, you know what, um, we need a new co, we need a okay. co-producer and okay. then she says his name I was like, but I know him. Oh, wow. You yeah. know, and I came on board and I really believe it's it's a very strong awesome. content awesome. and um, I feel very proud of the progress that he have made because this is his first project. Yes. You know, right. and I, you. And yeah. you investing okay. into yourself right quick because yeah. I'm a promoting and I ain't nobody finna be sitting on my platform for free. I got two uh. people to sell. That's Global Street Wave and Morris Media Live because that's what I'm on. Morris Media Studio. So what I need you to do because you ain't got a lot of stuff on your YouTube channel. We all need subscribers. And I would need you to do with all y'all in the studio, even you, Damu. <laughs> y'all need to take this link and stick it on your YouTube channel. This show's monetized. Morris right. Media is about their business. Right. You know, so it's, it's a whole other story. But the point is, your people in Trinidad need to be seeing you out here on the show. Mm-hmm. If you got to go take, I'm telling y'all to do right now. I'm trying to be seen in Trinidad. <laughs> and so you got to take this show and make up, you know, I'm serious though. Yeah. And do something. Take all these little parts, all the funny parts. Sell this. This promo. Promo. Mm-hmm. How many more minutes right. we got, Brian? We over you feel here. Me? We got what? So, 20, okay. 20, 20. So anyways, now, last but not least, what were you doing before you met this gentleman? And then I'll ask you, Captain Black. <laughs> He like microphones. He like titties. Put it up. 
What were you doing? No, put it up. You can put it up a little bit because I know you've been in hell. Okay, good. Okay, I'm good. Um, before you talk I, loud while you're talking. Uh, before I met this guy, uh, as both of them are, I'm an actor and I was looking for opportunities and it was perfectly God's timing because I was going through something at the mm. time, something personal. Okay. And I was actually considering if I wanted to do this anymore, but I kept praying and I knew... You know, I talked to my mom back home. Shout out to you, mom. Oh, uh, shout she, out to the mamas. Yeah, she said, you know, keep doing it. Just keep praying. Something's going to turn around. Oh. And I saw the casting call for Gangsters, which was put up by Gina. Oh, and I just applied. And the next thing I know, you know, I was hit up and I was cast as Marcus. And the guy, a lot of you guys are from New York Film School. New York Film Academy. Yeah. The Film Academy. That's not my queen to know. That's not the one I was on. How do I keep looking at her? The one that was on the camera mentioned that New York Film Academy. I met someone else, too, that mentioned that. Finish going. Because are you, were you from the New York Film School? I'm currently at the New York Film Academy. Okay, that's yes. also good. A good, 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 good cut off. Okay, awesome. Finish going. And uh, I just want to thank God and Freddie and Gina Amen. for this opportunity, and we'll just keep going forward. Thank Buddha Allah, the black Jesus, and the white Jesus. You better thank the aliens and shit, because they were talking about all of them. the Egyptians, the white man said. And uh, you better thank... Uh, Oh, Horace, because he was before Jesus. <laughs> no, nah, so I got some love handles. Love. Got me some grab. Oh, me with love. Got me ride. So, yeah. Captain Blackfall section arrives you and make you nut all on my back. Okay. <laughs> Shit, this is really gonna cost you. I need a towel, Brian. Um, what were you doing besides listening to me and talk nasty to you just now? <laughs> what were you doing before you met this brother? Just talk loud, because I know well, they can hear your mouth. Uh, before I met that brother, I recently moved here from Flint, Michigan. Oh. Wow. From Michigan, uh, and being new here, I started driving <coughs> Uber to oh, get to wow. know my way around and to meet more people. And that's how I ran across Freddie on an Uber ride. Oh, wow. He mm -hmm. offered me, I told him I did some acting, but I was trying to get into more. And he offered me to come in and sit with him. And um, it was a struggle at first. Um, um, we started with like 11 uh, actors and eight of them quitting. It was just back down to three. And things oh, wow. got kind of low on us and everything, but we held our faith and um, Freddie hit the, hit the streets hard and started finding these great actors that we got in here and um, everything That's turned out awesome. to be so good. We got me stuck great. on stupid. I'm yeah. like up here just really <laughs> oh, yes. I can talk nasty and dirty y'all but my mind go right back straight real quick. <laughs> but I definitely thank y'all for coming in. Thank you. I'm not going thank nowhere. You. I'm going to keep paying more media for my time because I do this for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't put together shows because I'm trying to find everybody in the world to promote. Because mm -hmm. that means y'all going to be paying me a lot of money and I'll be balling around here. <laughs> you feel me? And I'll be having my own Uber. No, but I really love to sell myself. I love to sell my personality and I love to share my platform. And I love that he do movies and I need more acting credits. Right, so right. besides but a bunch of rap are, friends, I need directors, publicists, and stuff. We will be looking for more actors for the second episode. <laughs> what we going to do? So. After the day, like, I'm through with this. Like, that's why this brother, Damu, came out here from Ohio. He's supposed right. to got a video play. He came out here to Cali. Like, you feel me? That's mm -hmm. real. People that's real. I'm not going to just be like, okay, cool. I'm going to be making sure I promote him anyway. Exactly. These are the type of people I take serious. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that to you beside all this damn joke, and I feel like I want to cry and stuff now, Universe. I know I'm talking and praying at the same time. I get to get in the spirit cry, y'all. Mm -hmm. Universe be listening mm -hmm. and ask for my prayers. But definitely I want to keep up with what's going on with the Gangsters TV. Keep the people informed uh, when you have casting calls. We could come in here and, you know what I'm saying, and let the people know that you have a casting call live on the show just so we can keep promoting. Okay. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? You want to whip your man Dingo out and we turn into a strip show <laughs> one day? Shit, I have, have some girls come here with some money. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Black going to be the one at the door controlling the ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and watch the break of money. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, dude. Anything y'all last want to say before we get up out of here? Because I got to make sure I promote these other people with this radio campaign they didn't pay for. And I got to let my man Brian give his words from the wise. Salute to our Facebook people watching live. But is there anything that you guys want to say last right here before we go? Um, I wanted to add that Freddie also casted me in, in the second episode, so I'm thankful for that. Awesome. And oh, so you're already in the second episode. Yes, but okay. I will still be co-producing on... Um, you will look at gangsters. That's you will right. not regret it. And I'm free it. promo from now on yeah. for the rest of their life. As long as I'm on anything. And if I fool around and get on Channel 9 in the next month, mm -hmm. <laughs> while you know me, he really going to have to bomb because I'm a no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the second part of season two. I just said it myself. Mm, we got you. So I'm just pulling my way up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, right. man. Go uh, what you going to say. Stop looking at me like that, Mendingo Warrior. You're trying to give me some. Mendingo <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> yeah, just shout out to all the cast members that couldn't make it today. Keep watching Gangsters. It'll be out soon. That's right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so uh, September 29th uh, is when I'm going to plan on releasing the pilot. Okay. Um, and then in the meantime, we're just going to start working on this second episode. Okay. And uh, we're releasing the pilot on what? YouTube also? The Gangsters TV yeah, show? Yeah, on YouTube. Okay. So. okay. 
They released in the second. Oh, also, come on. Also, if anyone want to come on but to invest and sponsor. Come you on, know, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Um, come please on. Please feel how free. Do they, how do they reach out? Um, that's your camera right there. Talk okay. to me. Now that's your, now okay. that's your, so, that's your eyes. Fuck um, the titties and dingling. Talk to the eyes. <laughs> you can contact me at Gina Simone 1. That's G I N A G I N A S S I M O N E 1 at yahoo.com. G I N A S I M O N E 1 at yahoo.com and just stay that you want to help gangsters out and it's the number one, not the word. Okay? There you go. Okay. Thank you there so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And is it something, you know, all the nasty shit I do, but y'all know, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I, I learned where I come from and I like to teach the people. So you start talking about with the mama thing and stuff, I appreciate that. Captain, you seem black like you, a mature brother. What could you say just to people, period? They ain't even worried about no inspiring nothing. What could you just say to the people, man, before y'all get out of here so they can remember Gangsta's TV show and they're going to definitely want to go back? What could you say to uplift these people that's watching right now? Hey, just uh, keep your dreams in mind, you know. Uh, never give up. And, look at uh, that way. Just look straight in front. Never give up. And we in this world by ourselves. Remember, you can't quit on doing what you want to do in life. God always have your back. So shout out to everybody from Gangsters and peace out. That's right, y'all. So. so we be back. Now, what I want to do before we go anywhere, I got to give a, uh, we do a radio campaign, y'all. And oh. it's uh, Silver, Silver, S-I-L-V-A, Silver Back Entertainment. Okay. We didn't promote them last time, Ryan. I was supposed oh. to promote them. So I'm supposed to flash their logo up on the screen and let people know. Go check out Silver Back Entertainment. Salute to you guys. We've been doing a radio campaign, y'all. KBLA, Global Streetway, we live on the Morris Medias, we live on 97.7 Ablaze with DJ Charlie, we live on 97.8 Push Radio out in Boston, uh, we live on now, ooh my goodness, I'm on the phone, oh I got it right here y'all, now Global Streetway has uh, connected with NBC KCA Radio, 106.5 FM, 102.3 FM, 10.50 a.m. and 92.5 FM. That's out in San Bernardino. Salutes to DJ Charlie for all that. And salutes again to NBC KCAA Radio. Had to give a quick shout out to them, y'all. When we're doing these radio campaigns, y'all see me sitting here having fun. But I have a whole bunch of other networks and stations that will also play your music. So when y'all see me promoting on Facebook and I'm asking who need advertisement and all that, y'all keep coming in my inbox. Y'all ask questions. I hit you with the prices and you run. I'm telling you right now why I'm on live. If you're really serious about getting some exposure, then get at us, okay? We're doing a little too much to be doing a too lot for free. So everything ain't free. Sometimes we can show you love, mm -hmm. but right now we ain't up in the club. So mm -hmm. hand me them dubs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so right now, I want to go and take a quick break, y'all. Mm -hmm. Since we was out there at the Redemption, I got back there for my lady. Salute to the poor this, y'all. She definitely uh, appreciated her today. She made everything go flow for me. I didn't walk in here late. Mm -hmm. But I want to play that Ray J drop for the Redemption. Yeah. And I'm going to take a quick little break, y'all. We're going to come back. Because if nothing else, Brian got to give y'all that words from the wise. 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 Yeah. Global Streetway. Yo, listen, man. What up? It's your guard checking in here. We're rocking live on Global Streetway. Got that new single, Paradise. You can show it out on iTunes. You can check it Get that Spotify title and all that. Ride the wave, dip the wave, get on bossy and she gonna make you have a wave. And you can get the wave, squirt, squirt. Oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Y'all know about squirting, girl. You ever squirt? I'm sorry, you ever squirt? Men ever made you squirt? No, I never squirted. Oh, you got to get good. Girl. I just found out and I'm almost. Oh, I ain't gonna tell y'all. You ever made a girl squirt? That's a good one, yeah. Y'all better go on Google. You gotta squirt, man, Dingo. He did it with his thing. Damu. Damu and Leo. Damu, I'm sorry, y'all. The show almost over. Damu, have you made a girl squirt? You or Leo? I know we some freaks. Would you use your tongue, your finger, or your thing? 
All the books. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Moon know what he doing. Hey, he so, Brian, you made the girl squirt? Yeah, Brian got a new baby. Yeah. Talk about, yeah, most of them. That's why he got a little baby boy over there. Brian, baby, give us your words from the wise. We got around about nine minutes, so I can't neglect you, man. We're going to sure. be quiet for a moment, y'all. Moment of silence for Tupac, Biggie, and all the fallen soldiers. Hey, who died, y'all? Hold on while I'm talking and playing. For your words from the wise, yeah. we just lost Mob Deep. Right? We just lost a brother from Mob Deep. Yeah. Another uh, prodigy died. Prodigy. Okay, after him, the other brother died from uh, Two Live Crew. Oh, yeah. What, uh -huh. The light skin with the right. little Chinese. Right. Yeah. He right. died. Salute to him, whatever your uh -huh. name is. And, uh, yeah, I be joking and shit, but then real shit come out of nowhere. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So go on, Brian, because I'm throwing off your words from the wise. We'll All right. Let Brian look <laughs> right quick. Open yeah. up your ears, your hearts, your minds, and your booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Brian Williams with words from the wise. You've got to take the good with the bad, smile with the sad, love what you've got, and remember what you had. I always forgive, but never forget. Learn from mistakes, but never regret. Wish all your enemies a long life so they can see you succeed in life. A good life is when you have and assume nothing. Do more, need less, smile often, Dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how blessed you are for what you have. To get something you never had, you have to do something you've never done. I always appreciate what you have before it turns into what you had. Family is about the people in your life who want you to be in theirs. It's about the people in your life who accept you for what you are and where you're going. Support you in the things you do, and no matter what, are there for you. It's the people in your life who love you, respect you, and wish and depend on you. Now that's family. I'm Brian Williams with Words from the Wise, and also just wanted to let everybody know, if you're an artist and you need help with your music and your music career and you don't know where to go and you've been doing things kind of slowing you down and wondering where I can take my music to, I make blueprints for music artists. I'm a veteran in the music game since 88. And if you need a, you know, you need a blueprint, just hit me up. You can find me on Brian S. Williams on Instagram or Brian Williams on Facebook and just hit me up. Awesome, Brian. And guess what? We got around about seven more minutes or something. I'll be stalking the time. So, peep this out. You take that back, power back in your hands. Sure. <laughs> Where's that bag at? That I was supposed to brought it here. Did I bring it up here under my foot? Oh, yeah, behind me. Hand me that bag, y'all. Yep. I was supposed to mention this sister, Princess Callahan. That's how I met my new makeup artist. I could not forget her. I paid attention to these notes, DJ Charlie. I'm going to still give a salute to the dude Chosen, but you didn't know. Uh, you, you sent me stuff late. Sorry, Chosen, if you're watching, baby. We got you. I might play an extra video just for you. Don't trip. He paid for a radio campaign. You know, you got to take care of people when they pay for stuff. Now, Princess <laughs> Callahan, Pure Celerity. Just wanted to do a quick plug, shout out to her. Definitely appreciate the sister. She has an herbal detox tea. So there's gonna be a new sponsor we're gonna have, Brian. This sister uh, gave a soap bar. Just had to give a shout out to her because that's how I met my lovely new makeup artist. He was doing, just did her lips. <coughs> you know, bossing. I'm a barter and still get a man a good tip today. But yeah. uh, definitely salute to makeup by Laura. Mm -hmm. Laura. Raul. Laura. Laura. Right. Let me say this shit wrong. Makeup <laughs> by Laura. Right. Makeup by L. U A R A R right I feel retarded him some damn spelling wrong backwards <laughs> so definitely y'all um, we're gonna be getting out of here in a minute but I just had to give a quick plug you know what I'm saying and again mm -hmm. shouts out to Silverback uh, definitely had a great uh, Ilya came and visited me yesterday cool KGLH so uh, salute to Ilya I'm gonna definitely take some advice what you've been telling me you know what I'm saying got me a new real consultant he was my ambassador mm -hmm. but now he's just a consultant we confirmed today he's a consultant he's seen Bossy at the Mayweather and all that right. doing a lot of different things he's like, I should have been there with you so mm -hmm. definitely want to salute Ilya you know we always need a lot of real help you said something about some enemies what that shit you just said about your enemies basically your enemies what you said about them a long life fuck so them I ain't wish them motherfuckers a long life I hope they ass fall <laughs> off the earth and evaporate hey, I hey, be wishing I was a fucking demon either. slayer <laughs> fuck them I demon Slay your ass, you waste the fucking energy. I like, I like that one. No, I'm a okay, dude. Like you want to wish real. him a long life? Yeah. For what? So they can hate on me all goddamn life? Oh, so they can see me succeed. Oh, so they can see me succeed. Right. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that part. Yeah, well, shit, right well, fuck y'all still ain't wish you on a long life. Get your ass out of here. No. Anyways, though, uh, whatever the hell I was saying that to say, that uh, definitely uh, 
I'm talking about Ilya. There you go. Yeah, with the uh, KJLH, y'all. Right. I just appreciate meeting real people. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So before I get out of here, I'm going to just do a little preaching because I got around about two minutes and I'm going to say this. Real talk, y'all. Anybody in your life that's like really helping you and they're building you to get to the next level, appreciate it. Every time people not a blessing, sometimes they're a lesson. So you might meet, you know, I'm, I met him. Damn, he a blessing, dude. It was on time. That was God. And all the time I'm dealing with him, he's fucking stressed. Mm -hmm. It's like you helping me, but you stressing me. It's like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like I love this child, and I can't get rid of my kid, but people, you can. And all I want to say is, man, if anybody, again, like I told y'all, slowing y'all down, and they're getting in the fear, and, in the, and they're getting in the way of what you're doing, man. Just get the freak away from them, mm -hmm. because the shit is negative energy, and they're a distraction. Mm -hmm. We are here to uplift each other. I think motherfuckers, especially black people, think that we came from fucking slavery when we were ruling dynasties and we had crowns and we owned everything before the man came over there fucking with our land and conquering and taking our spheres and trading for ammo and shit. We were rulers of the of the land of the earth. And if we start black people embracing that, what we were in the beginning, and we treat each other like we're all rulers of the earth, and we come together and replenish this shit, you know what I'm saying? It can be so much better. On another level, to you ladies, not you married couples, because I can't screw no married men, but any of you damn women out here, it's a lot of females. Y'all thinking y'all doing something because y'all got y'all little funky-ass careers, but your man neglected on his fucking loving. You ain't sucking his dick right, and you wonder where he going. So I'm going to replenish his motherfucking soul, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so all you single brothers and your woman ain't doing you right, you need a little uh, happiness in your life and a little glow and a little kickback. You know what I'm saying? It's too late. I got somebody. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> just all, uh, to all you brothers, though, don't feel like Kurt and this reality TV show shit. I do want to say this to the men right quick before I go. Give me this phone because sure. I think the show is over. The show is over. Okay, three minutes. I want to say this right quick to the men because the TV is poisoning. But I want to say this to the men. We got a phone call. Take the caller. Thank you for calling. Ladies, y'all better start sucking dick. Or they gonna keep looking for women like me. Fuck y'all, the side chick shit. Thank you for calling Global Streetway. We got three minutes, baby. Thank you for calling in. Yo, this is the young legend DJ Charlie calling in. Hey, you on time, Charlie? Okay, up, I'm gonna end out the show with you. I don't want to violate. The poet has been so patient with me, Charlie. I walked in here late and shit, trying to get my face beat up, and almost got beat up by the guests. So you got two minutes. Take us out, Charlie, and we're going to end the show, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in another Global Street Wave right quick. This is my DJ, Charlie. Y'all know who it is. Y'all going to go subscribe to Gangsta's TV show on YouTube. Go subscribe to Morris Media Studios on YouTube. Go subscribe to Global Street Wave Radio and TV on YouTube. Go like us on Facebook, Supreme Entertainment, all that. Global Street Wave. DJ Charlie, take us out, baby. This is the co-founder of Global Street Wave. Look, it's Global Street Wave. DJ Charlie checking in all the way from Arizona. Any artists that need airplay, promotion, uh, businesses that need commercials spun on the radio, on FM and AM platforms, just hit us up at GSWMGMT at gmail.com, and we'll take care of you. Also, as well, shout out to my family over there at KCAA Radio. Worldwide mixed radio show goes down in an hour from now from 6 till 8. So tune in. That's our so new brother, our brother sister station, Charlie. Thank you yeah. for saying the name because I didn't. Y'all, so tune in from 6 to 8 on KCAA NBC Radio, baby. Come on. All right, y'all. Global Street Wave, y'all. Another great show. Another great day, man. Salute to everybody tuning in. And another great big love to my peoples over there at KJLA. Said Hollywood, keep your motherfucking head up. We out of here, y'all. <laughs> okay. What up, y'all? Global Street Wave. Hey. Surf the wave. Brush the wave. Globally. That's what we doing, baby. And hey, let them know, man. We at the Ray Dimption. What's yeah, about? Right now, we at the Ray Dimption premiere. This is, this is a visual album. This is me at my best. Meaning the, the, the new page, the new the new book, the new the new chapter, or however you want to put it. It's just time to, you know, turn the page and, and grow into something new. And so you kind of get to see me go through a lot of the stuff I went through just in the past in my real life. But then we kind of turn it into a movie. But it's a lot of stuff that's behind it. It's just showing, you know, young men that, you know, you can turn up and then turn out and get, get right. And still live and still have fun, but you, you know, you're living for something new and you're putting a lot more substance behind what you're doing. So that's what I'm doing. And we're excited about it. So, so it's, like a, it's like a resurrection. It's, 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 it's like redemption, but I threw the ray in it. And now God got to bless me and, and pray for me. He's going to rain all over. Please pray for me. That's right. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Y'all stay tuned in, man. Great dipshit. Make sure y'all get it.